sneak peek of Pokemon plans for E3, and a ton of awesome community content. Hey guys, Jess here, and this is the Pokemon Update. First up, last week we mentioned the Pokemon X and Y Roundtable at E3 with Tsunekazu Ishihara and Jinichi Masuda, also known as the President and CEO of the Pokemon Company and the Director of Game Freak. We asked you guys to come up with questions that you'd like to see us ask them. Now E3 is in just one week, so keep those questions rolling on in. We're going to definitely provide as much Pokemon coverage as possible while we're there, so keep commenting and let me know what questions you want me to ask and what coverage you want us to try to get. And since E3 is next week, there wasn't a ton of Pokemon news. I mean, after all, if Nintendo announced all of it now, what would they have left to say at E3? So instead, we're just going to showcase some awesome community stuff that happened. First, YouTube user the ThePikaWoo, who also happens to be a Union for Gamers partner, asked his date to prom in an amazing way. He dressed up as Ash and recited a Pokemon-themed poem ending with, I choose you. It doesn't get much better than that, and click the link in the description to watch the video for yourself. It's so cute. Have you guys ever asked someone to prom using Pokemon? Leave me a comment if so, I'd love to hear about it. Next, we all love Pokemon Snap and we all love the Pokemon movies. Well, we love some of them. <laughs> so what if we combine the two? Cause let's face it, if there was one Pokemon movie that deserved to be made, it'd be Pokemon Snap. So Gritty Reboots made a live action trailer for it. Holy balls, I want this to be a real movie. I keep throwing my money at the screen, but nothing's happening. Moving on, Jimmy, aka Nintendo Fan for the Win, started a series back in October called Pokemon Weird Facts and Trivia, where he presents, well, weird facts and trivia about Pokemon. In 2010, he became the first Western person to design a Pokemon for the series. In fact, he designed seven of them. As well as Easter eggs and theories. For instance, the Pokemon Muna, which first appeared in Pokemon Black and White, was actually referenced in the original Red and Blue by a girl outside of Rock Tunnel who says she wishes there were more pink Pokemon with floral patterns, which perfectly describes Muna. Anyway, go ahead and click the link in the video description to check out Jimmy's channel and the rest of his weird facts and trivia. And finally, like we mentioned last week, Maryland shirts are on their way. They'll be hitting the Curse store very soon, and if you want to get one for yourself, keep checking Maryland for a huge awesome giveaway. You might even have a chance to win a 3DS or a pre-order of X and Y. Now the giveaway hasn't been announced just yet, but keep your eyes peeled. And that does it for this week. Sorry for the short episode, but like we said, we're headed to E3 next week, so hopefully that'll make up for the lack of content this week. Be sure to subscribe to Curse Entertainment and Maryland on YouTube if you haven't already, and go ahead and give us a like for Pokemon news. Once again, I'm Jess. You can find me on Twitter at JessRohart, and as always, thanks for watching. Enjoy the game.